Hi, I'm Sarah. So the first app I downloaded for this assignment is called Headspace, and uh, I've used it in the past. It's a meditation app. It's got a broad range of different courses for everything from basic stress relief to developing better relationships with technology, which is something Instructor Watson actually directly addressed in this week's lecture, which I thought was really interesting. Um, the biggest con right off the bat is the fact that you, the majority of the courses require a paid subscription, uh, but to be honest, I'd rather have a paid app than one that might compromise my privacy or share my data without my consent, so I think it's a fair trade-off. One of the biggest pros of the app, though, is that it offers something for everyone, even kids ages 3 to 12, which is super awesome. Um, in the first part of this week's lecture, Instructor Watson brought up some interesting questions related to the balancing of personal and professional lives by fostering a healthier relationship with technology, and I think this app can really help people to switch off and um, sort of take a step back to look at the bigger picture. At least in my experience, it's definitely helped me to clear my mind and sort of focus on what I'm doing. What do you think? Have you ever tried anything like this, and how did it help you, if at all? Uh, the second app I downloaded for this assignment was just a 30-day fitness challenge, which is perfect. It's super straightforward. Um, it's not really my cup of tea. I just thought I'd try something a little different. Um, so you choose a workout, you choose a difficulty level, novice, and you just start. You know, as far as pros, I like that it's simple. It doesn't try to sell me anything. I also appreciate that it doesn't promise any unrealistic rapid results or any such craziness. It works for me because it's designed for people who can work out at home without any equipment. So I think it's beneficial for any busy person or anyone who doesn't live near a gym. But as far as cons, some people might not like that it's so simple or there are no videos or trainers advice or anything like that. It just tells you to exercise, really. Uh, I can absolutely see the benefit of taking more control of personal health and development. Uh, I like that I have access to these things, but I'm forced to question the quality and security of these apps. Another question asked in the lecture was whether we will have too much information. Does this access really give us more control or does it make us overconfident? What do you think? Thanks.